Hi guys, it's Sam here today with Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I am bringing to you a YouTube reveal, but you will have seen this bag if you have followed me at all on Instagram or have seen my blog. So without further ado, let's get into the reveal. So I did actually buy this bag from an eBay seller, another eBay seller that I trust and you will see on the name on the dust bag is Rebones, I think is how you say it. Great company. It came in the most beautiful packaging for a resale company. Um, it came just in a normal brown box and then inside was this giant black box with this beautiful gold ribbon on it. I wish I had taken a picture. I just wasn't expecting it so I was shocked when I opened the box um, just to see such beautiful packaging from buying something under retail from a reseller. I just wasn't expecting it. So without further ado, it has lots of stuffing in it. Let me show you my favorite bag of the summer, and that is my Celine Cavas Horizontal Canvas Tote Bag. So this also comes in a vertical size, and it does come in a size that the sides fold in, but this is like the initial uh, size that it was released in. I looked for this bag literally everywhere, um, uh, south of France, Italy, Zurich, London. I couldn't find it anywhere last year. It just really sold out really, really quickly. And I just, I love Celine. I loved the look of this bag. I love canvas bags and I really wanted it. So when I found it on eBay for $1,190, I was super excited. Um, a retail on this bag in the States, I believe is $1,890. It might even be a little more than that, but it is pretty expensive considering it is a canvas tote. So let's go into the details. First you have on the front, you do have Celine Paris. This is not embroidered or anything. It is just like silkscreen printed on the front. Um, this is new Celine, so there is no accent on the E, which kills me, but I still love Celine. It comes with this beautiful leather padlock and key. So there's keys in here. So I guess this is a clochette, I should say. So there are, it's gonna be very hard to get the keys out of here. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Keys, come on, oh, there we go. So there are keys to this padlock, and I'll show you where the padlock goes in the bag to like lock stuff up. I personally just think it makes a very cute accessory on the front of this bag and adds a little color to this bag since it is just kind of like a, a slightly off-white canvas. It does have the beautiful leather handles, and it is all gold hardware. There is no feet on the bottom of this bag, it is just canvas. And I did get something on the back of this bag when I was last using it. It looks like food. I will try to get it off. <laughs> but uh, there's nothing on the back. You can see there's the offending food. Um, but it should be pretty easy to get off. So nothing on the back. Very plain. Very fun. Um, these handles are long enough to go on my shoulder. Uh, I do have a tendency, though, to carry a top handle or a crook of arm. Very fun. Very cute. The inside is also very plain. Lots of stuffing in here just because it doesn't have a lot of shape. So let me show you the inside. Black hole, very neverfull like. It does have this huge back zip pocket. And to show you where the lock goes, the hanging zipper pull does fit into a little spot right there and you would put the lock on that and lock up whatever you needed to in the back of your bag. Uh, the canvas is thick enough that it does stand up on its own when not stuffed but it is not um, as thick of a material as like my Dior Book Tote. It is very similar in size to my Dior Book Tote and it is much cheaper than Dior Book Tote even if you are buying it brand new and not pre-loved. This bag has some cool little details um, that I think are very Celine. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let me see if I can find one, that's a good one. So on all the hardware, it does have written, and I don't know if you can see it, Celine on there which I think is just really fun and really nice because you are buying something that is like, just kind of like almost like a beach tote, but it is much more expensive as it is Celine. But I'm a sucker for Celine, I love this. Um, I absolutely love that it is a summer bag that is a little different. Obviously I have no issue with having bags that everyone else has as I do have like the Neverfull, which people always say to not wanting to buy because everyone has it. But in my opinion, there's a reason everyone has it because it's amazing. I love the Neverfull. But I also love this tote. I find it really great for summer. Um, I was planning on using this as a work tote during the summer, but I no longer go anywhere um, since still working from home and will be till January 2021 at the minimum. So this has kind of become something where I carry errands or um, I did carry it on my birthday, which was really fun, even though there was kind of nothing in it because like 
wasn't going anywhere except for the hairdresser because that was like the two weeks the hair salon was open. So I literally uh, put my wallet in it and some sunglasses and my two phones and so there's like nothing in it. So I did carry it to my hairdresser who um, is amazing and I love her and I'm always carrying different bags to her and I think she probably thought I was crazy because there was like nothing in this. Um, but you know, sometimes you just gotta use your bag on an outing. Uh, I've been asked a lot like, do I think that this bag will get dirty easily? And as you saw by the food on the back, yes, it is this off-white color. I do think it'll dirty, but honestly, the corners have just are the only places besides me putting food on the back of my bag that really have any sort of wear. And that's because you do sit this bag down directly on whatever, or if you, if you hang it, you're lucky. But if you are sitting it down, you are sitting it down directly on this white canvas, which is why that I'm so surprised that the bottom is so clean because you would think it wouldn't be since the bottom is white, but it's really clean. I really love that. Um, I think that if you're kind of hesitant on buying like a, uh, the Loewe straw bag, which I do also have, or the Dior book tote because it's so expensive, and you, but you want something that's kind of like a summery tote, I do think this is a great bag for it. I think it is more summery than my Saint Laurent. Um, what is that bag called? Why am I blanking? You know, the Saint Laurent giant tote. Might just be the Saint Laurent tote. But oh, the Reve, the Reve Gauche tote, I think is how you say it. Probably butchering that. Um, this to me is much more summery than that because I do have that in all black and that's much more to me of a winter tote. I could see this being a great travel bag, a great, you know, you're going to the beach but you're not necessarily putting it on the beach bag. Um, it's very summery, I love it. If you wanna see how I style it, please make sure to check out my Instagram because it definitely appeared there before it ever made its way on here. If you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get uploaded, uh, so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is about twice a week right now. If you want to see how I style my bag, especially like this guy who made it on their way before it did on here, please make sure to follow me on Instagram, my blog, and Facebook, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. If you have any questions about this bag, please leave them in the comments down below. Please feel free to DM me. I love to talk about handbags. Thank you for tuning in today, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.